Hello guys, before starting the video, I would like to thank you guys for helping me reach a total of 1000 views, it might not seem like a lot, but it means a lot to me, and I also appreciate my army of 18 subscribers, and also remember to leave a comment on my videos and give me some feedback. Now let's get into this video. I will first be showing you guys how to download Linux Mint. To download it, you go to the Linux Mint website. After you are on the Linux Mint website, you click download at the top of the page and click Linux Mint. Here you can see that there are different Linux Mint editions. In this video, we'll be going over the Cinnamon edition. If you guys like this video, I can go over the Mate and XFC editions in another video. So, you click download on the Cinnamon edition. Then, you scroll down to the mirror and location. You should pick the nearest location for you for the quickest download. You then save it as a file. After that just grab some popcorn while you wait for it to download because it will take a while. <laughs> After you have it downloaded, go to your web browser and search Belina Etcher. Click the link that I clicked, then you click download and download Belina Etcher for your OS. Once it is done, make sure the app has permissions. After you open the app, click Flash from File and locate your Linux Mint ISO file. You then choose a USB stick you want to flash it to. Then you click the button flash and let it flash the file. So, once it is done, you are going to want to enter your BIOS in your computer and delete all the other boot options. It should look similar to this. After that you are going to want to save and exit. You are then going to want to power up your computer. Once you boot into the USB, you will see that your screen looks like this. You are going to want to click the app Install Linux Mint. After it is done loading, you are going to want to pick your desired language. After that, you are going to want to pick your keyboard layout. After that it's going to ask you to install multimedia codecs and I recommend installing them because you need them to view certain types of video and audio on some websites. Then it is going to ask you how to install Linux Mint. 
I choose to erase my disk and install Linux Mint, but you can also install Linux Mint alongside Windows. If you choose the option to reinstall alongside Windows, it is then going to tell you to select your drive to install Linux Mint onto. It will then ask what time zone dash region you are in. I picked Chicago because that is my time zone. You will then have to put your name, your computer's name, a username for your computer, and then you will have to pick a password. Once you get everything in, just click continue. After all of that is done, just wait for it to finish downloading. As you can see, a restart button pops up once the installation is complete. You are going to want to click restart now. After your computer restarted, you are going to see this welcome menu. Click first steps. On the desktop colors, you can pick your color theme for your operating system. I didn't change the color theme, but I did change my computer to dark mode. Next there is panel layout with modern looking more modern and traditional looking a little older. Next there is Driver Manager, where you can update your drivers. Next there is Update Manager, where you can update your system. Then, there is Software Manager, which is like an app store for Linux Mint. And lastly, there is Firewall, where you can configure your firewall settings. After all of that is done, I recommend going to the Update Manager and updating your system, or do sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade in the terminal, like I am here. As you can see, my download speeds are very slow because I didn't configure my software sources correctly in settings. I will show you guys how to fix this problem if you have it. If you don't have it, skip to the next chapter of this video, go to settings, and then scroll down to software sources and type in your password. Then click main vera and let it load all the mirrors. After it has loaded all the mirrors, select the fastest mirror, then click apply, then you are going to want to click base jammy and do the same thing as you did with main vera. Once you do this, your downloading speed should be a lot faster if you were having problems before. Now let's get back into updating Linux.
As you can see, trying to update or upgrade without correcting your mirrors makes the updates take a very long time. That is all I have for this video. My next video will be a review over Linux Mint, and I hope you guys come over and watch it.